this is Mauri Datta. I am from West Bengal. I live in Hubli district. I did my schooling from Krishna Bhavani Nari Shikha Mandir that is uh, in Chandanagar, a small town near Kolkata. And then my then I completed my graduation in Zoology from Chandanagar Government College. And then I have done my master's in Zoology from University of Kalyani. And uh, recently I have qualified ICMR JRF with All India Rank 60 by the grace of Almighty. Um, by the way, uh, this is the first national examination that I, I have ever cracked. Uh, so, uh, before uh, discussing about my strategies, uh, let me tell you that I had no idea about ICMR JRF examination. I was uh, preparing for CSI and NET from uh, 2019. But uh, then a pandemic happened and uh, some unusual circumstances happened. And for that, I could not pursue that preparation. Mm, but after uh, mending somehow and then I uh, came across some free academic classes and uh, but then my mom got sick and so for another six months I couldn't pursue my studies. I was completely detached from preparation for almost a year I must say. Then uh, my friend Anesha told me that uh, just go to Dipshika ma'am's classes and to be very honest, she was the sole reason why I took subscription in an academy. And an academy is a very good platform for any kind of coaching and uh, there I started following some educators along with Dipshika ma'am and uh, if you follow them, you will get a whole coverage of the full CSI and NET syllabus. And this will help you for any kind of examination. Uh, for NET, or DBT, ICMR, for any kind of examination, you need to have a very basic knowledge about the whole syllabus. So I was preparing for that. And for ICMR, I started taking preparation just a month ago specifically uh, that is uh, from mid of August and uh, then uh, Deepshika ma'am was the first person who told us ki ye firm zarur bana chahiye ICMR JRF ki and uh, she told us that and she arranged uh, some uh, PYQ series and uh, she discussed the whole strategy what it should be for uh, targeting ICMR uh, well, I am not a good speaker, so I have noted down some points that I am going to mention today uh, about strategies. Uh, well, ICMR JRF examination is something that, uh, that needs you to know the very basic things about life science. So, you need to have a very basic knowledge and clear the concepts of everything. I have told you that uh, CSI, or as I was preparing for CSI and NET, so I had already that knowledge. And um, thanks to my uh, 12th standard syllabus and then a graduation and post graduation syllabus, uh, for that I had my basics very much clear. And uh, well, about uh, about this examination, ICMR JRF, and I was analyzing those PYQs that ma'am told us to do. I was analyzing those PYQs, and I think analyzing PYQs is not only important for this exam but for any kind of competitive examination. If you go through the PYQs, you will get the idea what they want you to know. Uh, so, uh, I found that in ICMR, they want you to stay very much updated and uh, like uh, current affairs uh, regarding uh, COVID and uh, other diseases. And uh, as ICMR is conducting this examination, so knowing the name of causative agents of some prevalent diseases is very much important. And uh, they frequently ask some important dates that are being observed like uh, Cancer Awareness Day or Earth Day or Health Day or similar. And uh, knowing the names of those uh, vitamins and those diseases that are caused by the deficiencies is very much important. 
and also uh, Dipshika ma'am told us to emphasize on reading uh, the immunology chapter and uh, studying those uh, genetics and biochemistry and these things helped me a lot and uh, ICMR frequently asks uh, the name of the Nobel laureates uh, of science field from past 10 years so knowing that will help you and uh, also uh, knowing the name of uh, scientists and their especially biologists and their important discoveries is very much important and i came across uh, some free youtube videos that uh, helped me to know about scientific phenomena and this helped me to attend some extra marks and uh, i think Clearing the basics of biostat here is very much important because there were few questions in ICMR examination not only this year but was three years as I saw that uh, they ask biostat questions like uh, they don't ask you to solve very complicated mathematics but uh, they need you to know the clear uh, they want you to know the basics of by statistics so this also helped me to gain some extra marks and as a tip I, if i wish to give some tips to students that will be just go through the piq series and uh, analyze what they want you to know just go through the syllabus what they frequently ask and revisioning is very much important thing as ma'am has always told us that revisioning this piq series for like six to eight times is uh, very much beneficial and it helped me a lot well uh, uh, if i talk about time management i have a habit of keeping a diary since my childhood and what i do is i just make a to-do list that i am gonna do these things today and these things tomorrow so i think if uh, everyone makes a blueprint of uh, what they want to do like i will study chapter a and b today and chapter c and d tomorrow and i will revise these things in the day after tomorrow so you have uh you will have a very bigger picture of what you want to do what you want to execute so making a plan is very much important i think and about time management well i find social media as a distraction for me so I don't use Facebook or Twitter I just use Instagram not very often but uh, I just check my whatsapp hardly once or twice a day and I don't know whether this came as a boon to me or not but I just don't like using social media much well I don't read throughout the day I just read four to five hours a day and but before but in last 10 days before the examination I used to invest at least eight to nine hours a day for studying and not throughout the day um, in the meantime I used to do some stretches or listen to music and used to do some yoga or meditate and meditation is i think meditation is something that is very much helpful for any kind of students so what i can say that uh, just revision is very much important and, and what i can say to the students who are willing to crack this exam i will i must say that stay motivated and believe yourself believe that whatever you have dreamed for is gonna come true no matter what your present circumstances are well i am a bibliophile person i used to read books that are not included in my curriculum and i have read 21 such books this year both fiction and non-fiction and one of them was the alchemist by paulo coelho so i would like to conclude this video by quoting a line from it that says when you want something all the universe conspires in helping you to achieve it so all the best i'm pretty sure that you can crack it as well